In there, Andrew, C1D Paintball. Warzone videos, where we shot this video, we're playing Airstrike on the market map. Myself and Booney are on a team. Uh, we are spawning on the south uh, bunker area. Connor, he's got a team full of C1D guys. He's got Jeff, he's got Jesse, he's got Matisse. And I mentioned Jeff, that means there's gonna be smoke involved. Now, Connor likes to coordinate, usually run for objectives right away, or he usually has a plan. Or, or, he's usually got a pretty good plan for these type of things. I mean, everyone has a plan when they go into airstrike. If you know what airstrike is, by the way, so walkie-talkie in the middle, two different colors. One's your team, one's the other team. Sometimes there's just one. Basically, you gotta grab it and bring it back. It's similar to capture the flag. When you get to your base, you scream airstrike. Uh, because it's a small little walkie-talkie, instead of the big tall flag, it is a bit bigger to grab. There's little dynamics there, but essentially the same kind of thing. So, uh, but like I mentioned, Connor, usually a very fast runner, uh, likes to coordinate with the other people, especially the guys, like I mentioned, he's got three other C1D guys with him, as well as a pretty good sized team with some good players on it, making sure that they're all on the same uh, page for this one. Connor's actually going to take one of Jeff's gr smoke grenades. Jeff's ready to throw a smoke grenade to throw a screen for Connor to run in. Connor wants to throw it in himself. His reasoning here is, you know, if Jeff's got his gun up, he can throw him cover fire instead of having to worry about throwing the smoke. And Connor's going to pull the pin, run up, and as he runs towards the midsection, because the um, the airstrike walkie-talkies are in uh, Stonehenge, he's going to be able to lob that smoke better to where he wants it. That's the reasoning behind it. Now on our side, I've already told people to throw cover. We got one guy who's going to go up, and he's got uh, one or two other guys are going to kind of give him closer, su closer support. So we have plans. Let's see how it works out. Hey, uh... Jeffrey, can I maybe have your smoke? Like, alright. Because, like, I can run up, chuck it a bit in front of me, run back with it. But, like, that means all of us have to move up, too. That's why I, I don't know if they speak English. Well, okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run up. I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna grab the walkie and run back. So you have to go up too, just to shoot. You don't run and grab it, but you suppress, right? Thank you. Okay. I'm running and grabbing it, and I'm gonna smoke in front of me. Remember, hit him when he gets it, right? What? It's not over. Alright, overview on the map, what's going on here, I am in this location, my teammate, as I mentioned, I have one teammate running right up to Stonehenge, he's going to have some support behind him, Connor gets to this location, Connor throws that smoke, it's a perfect smoke. We all, everybody knows where the walkie-talkies are for airstrike, everybody knows where you set up, so they throw the smoke right where our guy's going to go, uh, our lead guy and the support. Both get taken out and kind of thrown us back a little bit. Uh, I'm going to run up with Booney. We're just going to decide to try to rectify the situation. I know 90% that Connor's probably going to be rushing up, so we've got to get up there quickly, otherwise it's going to be a quick one. And a quick one not in our favor. I'll get this one thrown the other side. It's over. No break, no break. Booney and I both get to the smoke. Uh, I managed to pick it up just before him, throw it back. There's not much smoke left, but just get rid of it there. Have to do a quick paint check because Booney got one off the hat. Off the hat. Uh, did not break. Now, meanwhile, Connor is being suppressed, which is a good thing for now to, uh, to del keep him from running up. You'll actually see in slow motion a bunch of shots just whizzing by his head here. So, yeah, pretty close one for him. 
And we're actually going to go split screen for the next sequence. Hey guys, I need you up! Yeah! It's too far, don't worry about it! They're up on the right, I can't go! It was then when it happened. The believers and heretics alike bore witness. As the prophecy came to light, the second smoke appeared in the same match. In a field somewhere, the high priestess of Enola Gay cries out, staggering, her body synchronized, aware of the event as purple smoke billows from her loins. Tectonic blades shift, the beasts of the earth howl and moan, the sun for a brief moment burns even brighter. The second smoke is upon us. Uh, at least until two other dudes pull purple smoke in the same paintball game. And what are the chances of that, right? So Connor is calling out for support, and he is getting some decent support fire uh, already, taking out two of my guys, but he needs more of it here because we're going to charge up for it. I'm going to take a smoke out. I'm going to throw the smoke. It's, it was a delicate thing where I just wanted to pop it over. Um, just fell on the wrong side of the barrel. It's still decent, not a great throw. Um, but um, yeah, we got two smokes on the field. The second smoke, rather. The first one's dead, but it's, uh, it's like happy hour, two for one smokes. Now we're going to switch to my camera for the main camera for the next sequence. And okay, so here is, is, is the barrel where the walkie-talkies are, the, uh, the airstrike walkies are. A little obscured by a tree, but, but it's there, you can see the side of it. Now, here's the thing. Where I threw the smoke, it's starting to cover the right side. I made the decision, and it's going to cost my team dearly. Instead of going on the right in the smoke, totally concealed, reach over to get the walkie, I'm going to go on the left. <laughs> it looks bad on the video. My reasoning is that I didn't want to get, like, totally in the smoke, and it was bad reasoning. So uh, anyway, let's watch me go up on the left side of the smoke. I could have said something like, you know, I thought the wind would change, but no, I just made what turned out to be a poor decision on, on many levels here. Move up on the right! My dad's grabbing it right now! He got it! Hit. So yeah, idiot Andrew goes up. <laughs> on the wrong side of the smoke. I was doing so well up to then. Connor calls out that I am going for it. So a lot of bullets, even had I gone on the smoke side, Connor probably would have seen me from his angle. Anyway, a lot of shots. I get taken out. Now, as I get off the camera, uh, as I get off the field rather, see the two cameras, Connor camera, it's Connor's camera, and my camera looking back. Booney is just the back of Stonehenge. So with the smoke billowing, Who's going to get there first? Because you know Connor's itching to get there. Effectively, it is a race between Booney and Connor to get that airstrike uh, walkie-talkie thingy. They sh I should really just call it something easier, but I've already started the video, so the walkie, airstrike walkie-talkie thingy. Let's see what happens. Connor, as he's going back with the airstrike walkie-talkie, I find myself this hole I've dug because I don't know what to properly call it. Uh, he actually gets hit in the back a few times. It doesn't matter if they broke or not, they always hurt. And when they don't break, they hurt even more. But it doesn't matter if they broke or not because his team wipes my team. So the game is over and Connor's side wins. And you can uh, see here as Connor reaches for 
the airstrike walkie-talkie. That's what I'll call it, the airstrike walkie-talkie. My smoke couldn't have been better. Uh, concealing him getting it. So he grabs it, runs back, doesn't get all the way before he's hit. The teammate would have picked it up anyway, but his team wipes us off the, off the map. The game is over. A fun little one here. I made a huge mistake. You know, if I said, could I have reached over the smoke and gotten that? I could have been a little bit more stealth-like, got on my knees, went around, got it, but you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. <sighs> Don't expect too much out of me. Except stretching a short video into a long one, a short clip into a long one, as we've done today. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Relax, because at the end of the day, it's just a game. Game over.